Hello friends, today let's solve continuous subarrayism. We are given a list of non-negative numbers and a target integer k. We need to write a function to check if the array has a continuous subarray of size at least two that sums up to a multiple of k. Um, actually, this problem is a classic subarray sum problem. We can use an idea of prefix sum. The reason is that it's very easy to get the sum between index 0 to index i. i is the index of the, you know, the rest of the, or not the rest, of the index in the array. So it can be 0, 0, or 0, 1, 0, 2, so on and so forth. It's very easy because we can get that uh, sum by iterate from left to right, and we accumulate the sum. But for the index from, like from 3 to 5, it can be harder. But we can use the same idea to get the sum be, um, in this subarray. We can use index 0 to index 5 minus index 0 to index 2. Is that correct? We can use the subtraction to get the sum of the continuous subarray sum, not start uh, from the index 0. So in this question, we can also use this idea. Let's see. We have sum 1, sum 2, which are both start from index 0. And uh, if their subtraction module k equal to 0, that means this subarray is the multiple of k, right? Then we, then we can get sum 1 module k equal to sum 2 module k. So that means we can just uh, do a normal iteration from left to right, and we get the accumulated sum. And uh, if the k is not equal to 0, we use the sum module k. And if this thing we already seen before, that means we find uh, a subarray that's sum equal to the multiple of k. The last thing we need to check is whether the size is greater or equal than 2. So the, uh, the algorithm is it. But there is some minor details we need to take care. One thing is, how about if the sum 1 is the whole array, and actually the sum 2 is does not exist. So that's the reason we should take care of the special case 0. Because when it's sum 1 is the whole array, the sum 2 actually is 0. Like if this array is sum equal to 6, and 6 is multiple of 6, we need uh, like uh, have the sum 2. So we need use the 6 minus 0. And we know that's multiple of 6. And uh, how to check whether this sum module k, we have seen it before. We can use a hash set or hash map. But we also need to check whether the size is greater or equal than 2. So we need the, the easiest way is to use the index. So we can use the current index minus the previous index. So, so in the end, we will use a hash map. And the key is the sum module k. And the, the value is the index. Uh, in that case, for the 0, we should at first put the 0 minus 1. Because in this case, the current index is 3. And the 3 minus negative 1, we get 4. That's exactly the size of this sum 1, right? Exactly the size of the subarray is 4. OK, so now let's write the code. We will use a map, integer, integer. And we will call it map. Uh, do not forget to put the special case, which is 0, negative 1. Uh, actually, in Every subarray sum problem, we need to take care of the zero. But uh, 
Sometimes we need to put a zero if it's a count. Sometimes we need to put a negative one. It depends on the uh, specific case. You need to think about this special case. And then we use a sum to accumulate. Then we iterate this array from zero i less than numbers dot length i plus plus. The sum will accumulate a current value. And only when the k not equal to zero, we let the sum equal to some module k. Otherwise, it, it cannot be done, right? OK, so if the map contains key sum, we already see it before. Then we check the size. If i minus map get uh, sum greater or equal than 2, if yes, we return true. Otherwise, we put the sum i to the map. And finally, we return false. OK, we finished. And time complexity is linear, big O n. OK, I don't know why it's so slow, but uh, the same code I submitted uh, 80 hours before, uh, almost the same. It's just uh, two, uh, <laughs> you know, it's and uh, it's beats, uh, da, 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 da. so it's quite uh, fast. But, uh, but uh, at least you know the time complexity is big O and that's enough. Maybe the survey has some problem. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.